Hey now, this is Scott at Scott Trades on Twitter with StockMarketMentor.com and your chart of the day. I want to take a look at one of the most hated trades in the market and arguably one of the dirtiest trades in the market, and that is coal. Now, coal, if I zoom out here, you can see it's been in a strong uptrend pretty much all year. And of course, the coal trade, the energy trade, and, and all the commodities really kind of ramped up coming out of the Ukraine-Russia invasion thing. You know, that really kind of pushed this into new high ground and a lot of other commodities. Now, I'll be honest, I don't love coal. In fact, I don't know anyone that does love coal. It's what Santa gives the bad kids for Christmas. No one wants coal, but if it comes down to it, if you got to heat your home, you're going to do it in, in any way you can. And coal is, for better or worse, one of the cheaper forms of energy. And so as we get into the winter, I still think we should be watching some of these coal stocks. We'll start things off here with BTU. Now, BTU coming out of the pandemic, it was a penny stock. It was under a dollar and has since gone up almost 3,000% off of the pandemic loan. So this has been a monster trade, whether you caught all of the 3,000% or even the last 100%. And so this is a stock that we definitely should be watching because it is still in an uptrend even after all of that move. You can see how it's holding above its blue line here. That's the 200 day moving average. Now it is just kind of chopping around as it stands right now, it's holding around that 100 EMA. And so if I was to look at this right now, you know, I would say maybe a low risk entry would be a stop just under 2280, you know, something like that. And then you're holding it because you think it's going to go up here. And if it goes down here, you know, obviously you're stopped out. But this is one that's pulled back from the highs. You can see how it has a clear level of resistance right around that 2925. And then if I look at another one like AMR, it's holding up a little better. It's above all the major moving averages. Now, this one does have a little bit of a smaller float, probably has a little wider spread. You know, it doesn't trade a million shares a day, typically. But, again, this one is near some highs. And so, despite the fact that a lot of these coal stocks have had massive runs, I still think they have potential. And so, I'm going to watch AMR here for a move right above this little consolidation base. Again, you can see how it got above, couldn't hold above, and now we're testing just underneath that level again. So I think having an alert, you know, maybe around that 160 zone for AMR totally makes sense. So AMR, BTU, just two of the many coal stocks that we're watching over at stockmarketmentor.com. Maybe consider adding these to your watch list this weekend. So I hope that video was helpful. Hey, give me a follow on Twitter if you don't already, at Scott Trades. We'll see you next time.